Right. Oh my god, my hands absolutely reek of dog. Yeah, I I get allergies to like actual dog hair and I can like feel it on my face. I'm trying not to touch my face. So you're just going to start dripping halfway through this video. Yeah, if I start sneezing, you know why. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic to the full spectrum of human emotion. <laughs> Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown. Nathan Johnny, back with you to check out one of our faves. Great dudes, great band, uh, and we have been warned. Yeah, don't look away. Yeah. Uh, this is, I, I did see all the comments requesting this, but this is one that I wanted to wait and do with Johnny. Uh, one of our lovely subscribers sent us a message and was like, challenge, don't look away. And I was like, yeah, we'll do it. He's like, no, 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 watch the video, but you're not allowed to look away. Johnny gets squeamish in some things, which is funny, by the way, that you've become Because I'm the horror this, guy. You're the guy that yeah. likes horror, mm. but you're a little squeamish baby girl. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to try not to look away from this. What are the rules? Are we allowed to blink? Because I'm definitely going to be blinking this whole time. Yeah, don't, no, don't I think it's like, like just don't do the whole, because every reactor, by the look at thing. One more time. Cool. It looks like every reaction channel who's done this is always, uh, like their thumbnail is like, ah, or, ooh. So, yeah, you know why? Because everyone loves a fucking clickbait. Don't know if you guys have noticed, our thumbnails are the dumbest things in the world. We don't clickbait, we just put something stupid in every time. Like, when we Hang did on. Blue Reverie by Error, yeah. Johnny made me a Blue Power Ranger. Because that's funny. Don't say anything. But that's for you. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> There's a few reactors that make me fucking angry. I'm sure they're lovely dudes, but every time they post a video, I see the... the comments and their captions and i think you're an idiot for such a like for such a level-headed nice human that that's the one thing that gets you just get attention the right way you know what i mean yeah we get attention take your pants idiots. off in public oh yeah no that's what, what I, did you say take your pants off in public the right way yeah yeah small things big attention what's small three two one They're really leaning into the heavies on some of these new songs. That's a sick little... I feel like the style of the song is already setting up for a pretty unnerving and uncomfortable music video because the soundscape is quite vicious and wide and there's a lot of noises and yeah. yeah the production in this already there's a lot going on i'll be interested to see what the vocal styling is like throughout it because landon has such a range yeah is this going to be the heavy unnerving side of him are we going to get the softer ethereal but can also be creepy side mm. i think we're going to go heavy by the such sounds a of creep. things <laughs> creep such handsome. creep bro That's a little bit different to him. That almost like mechanically, what? yeah. It kind of reminds me of the sort of shit Slipknot would do. Yeah, um, they got a lot of that sort of. Yeah, it almost sounds like just metal on metal, but with tone. You know what I mean? So metal on metal. Uh, also, I know what they said to like not let Johnny look away from this is because there's horses in it. You know, I fucking hate horses. Yeah, he's uh, they're his main adversary. They are. I say nay to horses. His vocal tone here is so sick. Oh. Oh, that's vocal tone. Got it.
We better not find out that that's poo he's smearing on the wall, because I... Nah, I draw the line at poo on the wall. That's where you draw the line. That's... Poo on the wall is pretty fucked. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are less fucked than that, but they're still pretty fucked. Like? Can't think of a single thing right <laughs> now. <laughs> But it's just, I'm just waiting, like, for it to be, like, the plot twist. You just see him just squatting over a plot plate. new twist. Ah, oh, right, yeah. No, yeah. What the sound of those hats. Yeah. This is where it's going to get fucked up. Do you know what gets me? You know in the movies where you see a, a battlefield and the horse gets knocked down? Yep. Always hurts my feelings. Really? I think, oh, you poor thing. That's such a heavy weight to go down. Okay, take that, you fucking evil animal. What, what's your problem with horses? I just don't trust them, man. I don't trust them. I don't think they like humans, okay? I, don't, I think that's our fault because we've been sitting on their backs for years. Remember like back in the day, man, and you had like knights and shit. I don't and... remember then. I'm not as old as you remember. Well, back when I was a kid, we used to have horses and we'd go out, we'd have to wear all our armor yeah. and it was so heavy. Yeah. And if you were portly, that poor horse, man, just like, no worries, chunky monkey, get up here yeah. in all your armor, carrying your sword and shit and I'll run through fucking an army for you. Yeah, that's a shit thing. But I don't. But I feel like they've held a grudge. Day, yeah. No, I feel like they've held a grudge. Yep. Think, okay. Sure. Walk past a horse, and I guarantee you, uh, he'll be saying under his breath, "Is that motherfucker?" I'm my him. my dad and Mel, his wife, they have horses, and they're all lovely. They turned me around from not liking horses to liking horses because I didn't like them. Take note of this, and then one day when Nathan comes in all sad, and I'll be like, "What's wrong, bro?" And he's like, "The horse has killed my entire family." I'll be like. Well, look, I sympathise with I fucking warned you. <laughs> That's what I just, yeah. No, I got trampled by a horse when I was a kid, and I didn't like it because it was scary. It bucked me off and trampled me, and it was very, very dangerous and very scary. Yeah. It got it got scared, and that's not its fault. And no, no, then it was now I've, I've learnt that horses are actually gentle giants and that they can sense fear. Stop being a scaredy cat, and you'll get the best out of them. Mm. I refuse. I'll always be a scaredy cat. Yeah, I'm always scared. Did that make you uncomfortable? You know what? Not as look. This is one is of those it because things. Of you're warned. What? Is it because you're warned? Like, oh, this will make you uncomfortable. Oh uh, yeah, I thought you said because you yawned. I'm like, I'm not that tired, man. Uh, I think it's because of seeing like you know I can see Burbs right now. It's got warning, and yes, it was unnerving. Yes, it was uncomfortable. Yes, it was creepy and weird and 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 gross, but. I, when someone said, Johnny, like, watch this, he's going to get uncomfortable, I thought we were going to see some serious eye fucking going on. Some serious gouging of the eyeballs. Because that's what... I wasn't great with the needle poking through the mouth. Yeah. I still think that was poo on the wall. So I'm not really happy about that. Sure. Especially when he started going, you know what? It's good for the skin. Um, wasn't really happy with that. But it wasn't as, like, disgusting as... As I, as I thought it would be. I thought that just, they were going to go for, like, just neck poking or eye poking or just, like, putting their fingers right in their just ears. Just touching eyeballs. Yeah. yeah. That thing. yeah. yeah. Uh, sonically, it really reminded me of, like, older plot in Europe. Yes. Very much so. Um, and, yeah, again, I got that unnerving, like, different style, but I got that, that same unnerving feeling that I got from bands like Slipknot early on in their career. Um where, you know, those, those strange songs come in that are just sonically so hard to sit down and just go, this is what's happening. 
And I think they did that in a really good way because obviously their production is super crisp and super clear and you get to really focus on what's going on. Yeah. Um, so there was plenty to grab onto, especially with the groove of it and, and the heaviness of it, uh, the distress and the just the filth in Landon's delivery was, was really something special on that one. That was sick. The fact that they can release a song like Left Behind that has this big anthemic sing-along, huge pop sensibility moments, and then do that. Ah, oh, they got range, baby. So much range, man. And it's like, this is another thing for me with like heavy vocalists. It's like you could listen to someone like Lorna Shaw or whatever and like, oh, that dude's the devil. He has one of the heaviest voices ever. Yeah. But that's his sound. That's his tone. That's his delivery. That's his style. With Landon, it sounds like pure, honest, 100% unhinged emotion sure. in the way he delivers it. And there's not that many vocals that can do that and, and sound. He sounded fucking pissed off in that. Yep. And I loved it. Yep. Yeah. That, yeah. You can really hear the feeling in, in the, the, the lyrics. Hmm. What did you guys think of Don't Look Away? Did that make you uncomfortable? Do we make you uncomfortable? I know the answer to that already. No. Where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? In, th- in things like movies and, and whatever. I draw it in like Punch and Babies. You already done that, and I was like, "Fuck that guy." I, d- I like him less now. It was a doll. Let's just straighten that up. It well, was a doll. On, on the camera, it was a doll. It was a doll. Yeah. Walked um, past a baby in a shopping center once. Stole his candy. He eyeballed candy. me. Look, afterwards, we may have learned that the poor child was cross-eyed, but <laughs> <laughs> I draw the line there. Get your eyes fixed, oh, yeah. baby. We're done. We're uh, done here. Thanks for hanging. Oh boy, there's the cancel. 